Hey, it's Travel Jiggler, and this is a review of the Waterberg Wilderness Nature Reserve. One of the great things about this nature reserve is that it's just 260 kilometers from Johannesburg, so it's just about a three hour drive for me. Provided, of course, that you leave relatively early on a Friday afternoon, you can have a good weekend there. Be careful, of course, because there's often quite a lot of traffic out north on the N1 as you leave Johannesburg going towards Limpopo. So most of the road there is Tard Road. It's highway most of the way, and then a turn off onto some Tard Road as well. It's only the last 10 kilometers from the time that you enter the gate off the main road that you get onto Dirt Road. So the road to the campsite is quite rocky. You definitely need quite a bit of clearance to get over this road comfortably. We haven't had to engage 4x4, so a two-wheel drive bucky will easily do it. But uh, a sedan, definitely not advisable. So we've just arrived. It's a really rustic spot. We're checking in now with the owners of the land and they seem to be very organized. Everything looks really good so far. The campsites are pre-assigned, so that's really good. I like that we don't have to go scrambling about and trying to find an empty campsite and so on. Looks really rustic. Looking forward to it. I think this is going to be a great camping expedition. How to maximize your popcorn pot's capacity. The campsites are pretty cool. They have all the basic amenities. They don't have electricity. I've done a separate episode on the campsites alone, so have a look at that. So the main attraction at Waterberg Wilderness Nature Reserve is the wildlife. There are a lot of different antelope species on the site, and there are zebra as well as giraffe and quite a few other large herbivores as well as some of the smaller herbivores. There aren't any large predators, to the best of my knowledge, so it's relatively safe to go jogging or walking, and it's also relatively safe to have the kids there. So driving around later in the afternoon especially, we had some really cool sightings. There are of course numerous bird species as well, so if you're keen on birding, then keep a look out, there's some really cool stuff to see. Foliage can be pretty thick, but nevertheless, it's a really rewarding birding experience. The reserve is set in the Waterberg Mountains, so one of the things I really liked was that you can get some really good vistas from some of the higher parts of the reserve. The roads are pretty well marked out, so it's quite easy to find your way around. When you check in, you will get a road map that is quite decently done and sets the layout pretty good. The roads in the reserve are unpaved of course. There are quite a number of routes that you do quite a bit of exploring around the site and that lends itself pretty well to not just driving but mountain biking or jogging or taking a walk if you like. There's some cool hiking routes as well. Some of the routes specifically require a 4x4 vehicle and there's a couple of good reasons for that not just because the roads themselves are difficult to navigate with anything but a 4x4 but also because if you go on those with a two-wheel drive then you can start to damage the roads so it's important to respect the 4x4 routes. So if you're looking for a bit of a quick weekend adventure with your 4x4, this is a great place to go and you can tackle some of the routes. They don't require a high level of 4x4 skill, but they're really cool to do and really fun. Overall, really great spot. Make sure you've got the right vehicle to get there and make sure you're prepared for camping with no electricity. It's a really great place and I definitely recommend it. If you found this informative, if you enjoyed this episode, hit the like button and subscribe. Leave some comments below and give me some feedback. Also remember to check out the review on the campsite itself. There's quite a bit more information there about the campsites in particular. And until the next episode, happy adventures.